Hi, this is Gil Robles, and this week I'm going to do something different. Well, something that I've done before is look at a new program. Uh, I I don't know how new it is to everybody else, but this is Leonardo. It's a program. It's not free, but it's not that uh, that pricey. At least now in the beta version, it's thirty nine dollars. And I was asked by a friend on Facebook to check this out. Uh, he seemed to, my friend seemed to have liked this program a lot. And so I'm doing that. I'm checking it out and I'm looking at the interface. This is my first time uh, really using this program. I downloaded a trial version and I'm just looking through it. Now, it's, I, I to, to be honest, um, my first impression is that I like the software a lot. I had only one reservation that was on the canvas. Uh, it has infinite canvas like mischief. However, I didn't see where when I uh, export to save my file that I can save it at, at a high resolution or I can set the resolution for the canvas. So I wrote uh, to them. They they they. Um, they give you an uh, uh, in the help section. They allow for you to contact them to ask any questions and so forth. And they responded very quickly, which was great. And uh, they said that in the canvas uh, right there on the top on the menu that there's supposed to be a, a, an option for changing the resolution of your canvas to anything you want like you do in Facebook I'm um, Facebook I'm sorry like you do in sketchbook and um, so I didn't see it on here and maybe that's because it's not on the trial version but rather on the paid version now the paid version is $79 and you're you're entitled to uploads you know I, I mean uploads you're entitled to whatever uh, upgrades but um, the the trial version right now not the trial version but for the beta version that they have right now which you still will be entitled to the upgrades as I understand it is $39.95 or $39.99 something like that so um, either way it would be worth the investment if it's a good program to me so far I like it it's got layer layer options uh um you know as far as the different uh um uh, uh what do you call it blend modes uh multiple layers i like this pencil right off and and right off i like the ink uh brush that they have on here it's really nice brush now unlike it's the program seems to me like a cross between mischief and um, sketchbook whereas you don't have as many options as sketchbook but what you have here is kind of nice like mischief and um, but it, it off it's I think it's a little bit more than mischief can do um, it, so that's why I say it's in between I, I'm very comfortable with it um with drawing with uh, um drawing with the brushes on this thing um so so far so good uh i don't you know it it kind of reminds me of when um sketchbook uh pro was just starting out it's similar now there's there's a whole thing a whole lot of stuff that's added to sketchbook right now that i don't necessarily need um, doesn't mean that I will never use it. It's just that, you know, as far as for painting, you know, I just, I, I just like to not get into the too, uh, too much technical stuff, but to write, you know, the, to be able to pick out a brush, uh, to be able to draw with it, to be able to feel comfortable with it and not, not have to, uh, tweak too many things. Uh, it's nice to have a lot of bells and whistles, but at the same time, for me, it's nice not to have too many bells and whistles to rely on that I'm just relying on my ability to draw and not the program to do a whole lot of different things for me. So that anyway, that, that those are my preferences. 
And uh, apart from that, you know, uh, it has everything that you need. Uh, it, the, the, the user interface isn't really that difficult to get to learn. It's a little bit different, but at the same time, it's, it's not too different. Um, it's kind of nice because like Sketchbook Pro, one of the things I liked about Sketchbook Pro, there was a, a hundred different ways to get to the, the, um, the settings that you want and you know this this program has pretty much something similar that you know you could either go into menu options and change or, or different ways uh, when you select the brush right if you look at the left over here um, right where it says brush right next to it is options you can choose options over there or you can go to your right and you can uh, choose the size of the brush you can, you know, there's the undo, redo. There's, there's, uh, there's a lot of ways to get to what you want, which is kind of nice. And I got to apologize over to the left. The, the toolbar is kind of blocked off on this frame. But it's simple. It's not a whole lot to it. So all in all, it's a, it's a pretty simple program to get to know. So like I said, I'm using the... Um, I'm using the pen brush and it's you know it, it's a nice brush it, it has a nice it the um the stylus response on this program is great I'm not using a Wacom I'm using a mono price tablet so it's different this is this is program is designed for Wacom tablets I mean there, there's a lot of um it's seen the, well a lot of I I don't know yet I, like I said I'm first I'm I'm opening this up now but it seems to imply that um that their settings for for Wacom tablets or or it's it's designed to work well with the um with the pen and the pen pressure there and it's doing fine right here with the mono price to be honest with you I like the um. Like I said, I didn't tweak the brush at all, and so right off the bat, I like the uh, the way the the pen pressure allows for the 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 lines to go thick and thin. So like using a, a real pen. So this is you know these are just a quick sketch, uh, kind of a funny self portrait, but. Um, just testing this out, just testing this uh, uh, brush out and seeing what it's like. So I like it. I like the program. I, I think that I, I am going to get the paid version and going to explore it more. It, it seems to be like a fun program to work with. And um, the one thing, if... Uh, for thirty nine dollars, I, I guess. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's worth finding out about the the resolution for the canvas because then I can I can definitely use this program, and it will be another, I guess, weapon in my arsenal. So let me try out the color brushes here. And uh, let's see what I find. So the, there's a lot of uh, the, you know, again, I just open the options for the color brushes and you, I can do the same things I do with Sketchbook Pro over here with the brush. Uh, the brush is, this is uh, a pretty neat brush to use. So like I said, so far, so far I like it. So far it's a, it's a very easy intuitive program. You don't, you know, you don't have to, you, you don't necessarily even have to have a booklet to, to, um, to, to, or a manual rather, to get to know the program. If you're used to, um, these graphic programs, this is, uh, this would be a quick one to get to learn because it's not too different. Well, yeah, I, I like how how this, these brushes are. These color brushes work. 
there's not a whole lot of tweaking now there's not a whole lot of uh different options that you get with this but the options that you get are fine and there's a promise according to the website that they're going to continually develop this uh this program that their mission or their aim is that um they de they develop a program that the you know the from what they say the best paint program so their mission isn't like you know their mission is to is to develop a, a program for artists to use a, a good paint program unlike uh photoshop which photoshop really is uh even though it has become very popular with with uh painters uh digital painters and so forth it was really designed for photographers here you have a program that's really designed for with the artist in mind rather than uh, a photographer and so it's more geared towards painting uh, that's not to say Photoshop is a terrible program Photoshop is of course a terrific program but um, this is nice to have with like I said without all those bells and whistles which you you don't need you can develop your um, your image based on your ability to draw and paint and not have to worry about learning too much technical language so yeah it's really simple it's really simple uh, and this is um, I like how I've gotten I've arrived at this image so far and there there isn't a lot of difficulty in, in trying to find out where everything is you know I pretty much use it in a similar way I use sketchbook I tweak the brushes I tweak the layer you know I play with the layer opacity and I add layers and uh, so I'm going to continue to explore this software in the future I will I will upload videos regarding things that I have done on this software in the meantime this is just a, I guess a, a first look at uh, this software and I, I don't know how long this software has been around I just uh, recently someone on Facebook like I said have asked me to look at it to give an opinion of what I think and um, so far I think this is great I think this is great so anyway I will be back on a, a Friday with uh, more more video with another video and I'm, I'm going to try uh, maybe I, I need to just be satisfied that I am going to post a video once a week I, I I would rather have a day like I said like a Friday I've been so late with these videos and I apologize with it uh, one of it one one of the reasons was some technical problems I was having with the mic that I was using and another reason is is time of course uh, I had the good fortune of uh, having some illustration assignments to work on and I have completed those and sent the illustrations off and sent the invoice off so right now I have uh, nothing else but to work on these videos for right now and um, so I'm going to try and keep up to date with these videos uh, in, in any event I'm going to at least post once a week um, my goal my target would be to post on Friday um, so I, I may or may not shoot for Friday this week but if not Friday definitely Saturday and definitely I will revisit this program Leonardo uh, with more information on uh, I'll leave a link as far as uh, where you can go to download the program yourself and I will also leave a link for the tablet that I've used. I've, I've left that link before. And um, also some Wacom tablets. I, I tried to balance things here. There, there are a whole lot of programs I could introduce. But uh, 
I try to balance things here into things that are affordable and not things that cost uh, so much. So my tablet is is uh, my tablet is much cheaper in price than a Wacom uh, for the size of the monitor. I, I'm working on a 22 inch monitor and my tablet is uh, about four four to five hundred five fifty you know that is definitely below six hundred as compared to a Wacom uh Cintiq which is uh in the thousands you know so depending I think uh the largest size is like uh two thousand or something like that. Um but uh and and the software I try to generally find something that's much cheaper to use. So anyway here is uh, the first illustration, the pen and ink that I did. And uh, I, I mean, it, it's just a quick thing. <clears throat> Please don't judge my abilities too harshly by this drawing. But um, it's just a way of me uh, trying out the, the, the pen or the, the, the pen tool on this program. So I liked it, like I said. And uh, it, it is, uh, uh, to me, just the, the pen tool alone is worth the money. This is, of course, the painting I did. And uh, I like it. I mean, it's it's uh, a little bit too fuzzy in some areas. But it was a, a quick thing that I did. Not I didn't spend too much time on it. And so, forgivable. <clears throat> Excuse me. And so, and this is another quick sketch I did. Um, so, that's it. Let me know what you think. Uh, let me know if you, you know of this uh, program. Leave any comments below. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.